guys, so today we're going to be doing a baby goat care video. Any goats that leave the farm, we generally do a care class with the, the new moms and dads that are taking those baby goats home. And today we wanted to make it a little bit easier to access for anybody that may be getting goats from another farm or maybe already have baby goats and just need to know how to better care for them. goats or from goats to people. It is a species-specific lice 
or mites. They live in the environment. They're on leaves, trees, birds. Every animal that's in the forest gets these lice. And you first will notice these when you see hair loss. And generally, it's in the wintertime when you see this. In the summertime, you don't see very many. You'll see hair loss, maybe some dry, flaky skin. And there's a few different things that you can use to treat this. One is going to be our cyclins. Cyclins can be purchased at Tractor Supply. And the dosage information is on the label uh, for how you should dose this. This is a topical dose, meaning that you just put it on their skin. Generally, I'll just do one cc per 25 pounds of goat. So for a baby goat, I'll do about a half a cc, and that will cover um, the baby goat that will treat them. And it's very important to remember, anytime that you treat something on a goat, whether it's internal or external parasites, do the exact same treatment 10 days to two weeks later. So anytime you treat them for internal or external parasites, be sure that you follow up 10 days to two weeks later. A few other things that you may be concerned with are vaccines. What vaccines does your goat need? The only vaccine that goats get here on our farm is CDT vaccines. That's Clostridium type C and D, as well as tetanus. This does not work at all if you give it to them before three weeks of age. So generally what I do is if I'm selling the goat prior to them being four weeks old, then I will send out, I'll vaccinate the goat the day that they leave the farm, and then I'll send the injection home with the new parent to give that goat that same vaccine in 21 days. Um, if not, if I have them and they're older, then I would have vaccinated the goat already twice, and they only need it annually. Um, so you do it two times, you get your, your one shot, and then your booster 21 days later, and then they don't need any other shots for a whole year, and then they'll get that shot every year. Here on our farm, we vaccinate annually. Every January, all the goats on the farm get a CD and T shot. And that's something that you want to cover just in case they get a scratch or anything like that. And you want to make sure tetanus doesn't get in there, as well as overeating disease, which is also known as enterotoxemia or clostridium. Um, so we do vaccinate for that. The number one killer of baby goats, the number one killer, and I cannot stress this, this fact enough, the number one killer is always going to be coccidia. The best way to know if you have coccidia is to take a fecal sample, meaning poop, to your vet. When you take that sample to your vet, your vet can look at it under a microscope and tell you if they see an elevated amount of coccidia. Coccidia is not a parasite, it's a protozoa that lives in all animals. It also is species specific. If a goat is exhibiting signs like not eating, not acting very happy, acting like it's a little bit down, Nine times out of ten, it has coccidia, coccidiosis. If you see those signs, as well as diarrhea, it is in imminent importance to get that goat to a veterinarian. Our veterinarian that we use here is Spears Creek Veterinarian, as well as Bark Veterinary Hospital. Um, Dr. Blackwell and Dr. King, that's Spears Creek Vet and uh, Bark Veterinary Services, um, they're both very well versed on treatment for that. One of the common treatments that they will give is panazaril. We do all of our, we uh, give this to all of our goats orally the day they leave the farm, and then we send you home with a vial to treat them again. Joe, did you see that? There we go. We send you home again with a vial that looks like this, and it's amber in color. It's a colored vial to make sure that the sunlight doesn't get through, because sunlight does not do well. The, the vaccine can stop working. So you'll just stick this in the goat's mouth about, I think it's 14 days after the day you leave. You'll give this to the goat orally, and this will already be drawn up and have the, the required amount in it. They take it super good. It's chicken flavor, uh, but that's because that's all the pharmacy had. But the goats generally swallow it pretty good, and that just eliminates that concern. So again, we'll give it to the goat the same day that you take the goat home, and then again in 14 days, you're going to be sent home with another dosage to give that goat. Um, and you can do that one week prior to giving their CDT shot. So when you get them home, just mark on the calendar 14 days later. Go ahead and give them that, uh, that uh, panacea And then seven days after that, you'll give them their second CDT shot if I haven't already done that. So again, you've got the cyclins, which is what we're going to use to treat mites or lice. If you need that, um, generally people will just wait until summertime and the problem goes away anyways. You've got your CDT shot that you give to... Uh, Three to, three to four weeks after the goat goes home. This right here is agromectin. That's something that you really don't need to use unless the goat is um, six months or older. And again, we encourage you always to get a fecal sample done first 
because that fecal sample is going to tell you if that goat has parasites. And after you warm it with something like agrimectin, you're going to need to get another fecal done about four weeks later to make sure that it's working. And agrimectin is just the tractor supply brand of ivermectin. It's a 1% solution, and you give it to them orally as well. Um, so we've got all our medicines here. A couple other things that we want to look at are going to be the hay that you feed your goat. There's tons of different options of hay to feed your goat. One option that you definitely want to stick with when you take your goat home from here is coastal Bermuda. Coastal Bermuda is what all of our goats eat, and that's what we encourage you to feed your goats as well. Um, as I said earlier, no grain and keep the baking soda out. Water. Water is a big issue with baby goats. As the baby goats being weaned, they start to increase the amount of water as they drink, uh, decrease the amount of milk that they drink. So when you are um, feeding them water, you want to make sure, one, that it's always clean, that none of the goats can poop in it. It's cool, so I keep it in a shaded spot, and I change it often. And then also make sure that the bowl is very shallow, preferably hanging up on a fence so that the goat can't drown themselves in it. Um, shelter. Goats do not like any type of moisture at all. Um, if, if your goat is getting rained on or the wind is blowing rain into their shelter, you're going to have a really sickly goat um, in no time at all. So you want to make sure that goats have a nice shelter. Um, and and we, we do uh, a slatted floor, a wood floor for all of our goats so that any poop or pee goes through it. We don't use any type of wheat straw or anything except during the coldest months of the year. Um, that way the goats stay dry. They don't really need so much heat or warmth. They just mainly need to stay dry and out of the wind. Um, so there's shelter and then predators. Predators are another big thing. The number one killer of baby goats second to coccidia is going to be your neighbor's dog, your dog, um, a, a bobcat, coyote, a raccoon. Pretty much anything can kill your baby goat. So if you don't have good fences that are at least four foot tall, um, preferably with some type of electric on the top, bottom, inside, outside, then you're probably going to have issues with predators. Here at Goat Daddies, we have five livestock guardian dogs that live with our largest herds of goats, and then we have other dogs that run the property to help and protect goats from predators. And knock on wood, we've never had an issue with predators here. Um, kids and goats. So a lot of times kids want to run with goats and let the goats chase them. If the kid's running with goats, nine times out of ten, there's going to be issues with the kid stepping on the goat or the goat tripping or something like that and getting hurt. So if you're getting uh, goats for your kids, you really need to be sure that you're watching them and supervising them together. Um, and I can't say enough how important it is to make sure that your goats are getting um, lots and lots of branches and limbs. If you really want a healthy goat, you're going to go out probably once a week and cut down a big pine tree, and you're going to take smaller branches off that pine tree to feed to your goat um, daily. Uh, so goats should always have some sort of forage to eat off of outside of their hay. Um, always hay, but they should also have different types of uh, sweet gum and pine and different types of trees like that that they're allowed to eat. Some other things you definitely need to look at are finding a veterinarian in your area. If you're not close to us, make sure that you find a vet that's well-versed on goat care and not one that's just typically doing dogs and cats. Um, it's very, very important to use goat-specific medicine on goats. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. And definitely send us a message on Facebook, Instagram, and we're happy to help any way we can with any baby goat care uh, questions you may have. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram and send us questions uh, via, via those two methods as well. Um, keep taking care of your goats good, and see you all in the next video. Yes. Today on Go Daddy's Farm. <laughs> Is it on? No, this should be the thumbnail. I should take like a like a rap video picture with all what? of them. Like you know how the rap videos, like we about to drop an album. Yeah. Like it should be like me sitting right here. The thumbnail, and I could be like. Hey, hey.